Hello everybody. This is a swampy wallaby. Um, well a swamp wallaby, I call them a swampy wallaby. Um, see they've still got a bit of a colour to their face like the other ones do, but they're quite muscular. They have quite a, uh, a large back part of their body in their, their forearms. I don't know if it's called a forearm, if it's a swamp wallaby. <laughs> It's a bit human, isn't it? But look at the big sort of brushy almost tail with a white tip on it. Um, they are a very different wallaby. And uh, yeah, this one just hopped along as I was sitting inside. So I don't think it's noticed I'm here yet. But uh, yeah, they're quite dark inside their ears and they have more of a pale spot between their ears as well. So unlike the other ones, the whiptail or pretty faced wallabies, um, the parts on them that are white-ish, they're sort of yellowy white, they're not completely white. Um, yeah, so I did wonder if they were crossbred with with swamp, with, uh, like with the um, pretty faced wallabies. So I'm not sure about that. They in swamp. This might be the one I've seen before. Swamp wallabies don't usually have such a stripe. It's more of a smudge on their cheek. But I could be wrong. Maybe I should do some Googling. This one's actually eating. I don't... I think they're actually... Goodness. I thought they were myrtle tree leaves. Um, they probably shouldn't be eating gum tree leaves, eucalyptus leaves, because they're quite toxic. Um, koalas, the sort of round, grumpy kind of creatures that everybody seems to know come from Australia. Um, koalas can eat gum leaves, eucalyptus leaves, but I never thought wallabies would. That's interesting. I've had a lot of trouble in my uh, orchard recently. Oh, it's pooping. Great. Um, Thanks for the fertiliser, Swamp Wallaby. Um, yeah, in my orchard, things have been eating things they don't usually eat. So I've had them pushing over tree guards, even though it's fenced off. They're far. I'm not sure if they're wallabies. I think they're smaller creatures. But uh, yeah, they've been nibbling on my little trees in the orchard. They're quite small, so it's not very hard for them to have a go at them. So I've had to up the security in my walk in my uh, orchard recently but uh yeah probably smaller creatures like a betong or an antichinus uh, an atherton antichinus because we're on the atherton tablelands here but uh yeah this little one seems to be quite happy to have a munch for breakfast but um yeah i think it's seen me it was looking right at me before but mustn't be feeling threatened it's interesting, the pretty face wallabies, and it seems these ones too. This one's having another go at those leaves. And they do know that if there's a fence or a window between myself and them, uh, they know they're fairly safe, which is interesting. Yeah, he's kind of sitting in his food now. Good on you, Swampy. <laughs> Well, that's not much of a view, so I'll let him eat his breakfast, him or her. And uh, thanks for watching today. Hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you next time.